Thompson have a, a Chinese Wolfie with offices, a primary office in Shanghai, uh, another one in Guangzhou, and they have nationwide coverage, uh, operating an intellectual property in related areas. Why international risk do large-scale consulting? So a marriage of the two basically will offer us a one-stop shop to be able to deal with most multinationals, brand protection, and intellectual problems, property problems in China. Well, again, I'd rather not reveal all, all of who our clients are because uh, we have confidentiality agreements, but you can take it that they tend to be the very largest brands uh, with the biggest market capitalization, very often involved in fast-moving goods, particularly pharmaceuticals. There's a lot of fear in the pharmaceutical industry as to um, counterfeit, counterfeit goods, uh, particularly that, that which are going to the, the to medical resources uh, and, uh, and, and other electronics and the, and the like. Well, it's very scary. Um, again, the pharmaceutical companies do make a big effort to try and protect, uh, protect them, but there are, there are unscrupulous syndicates out there who will manufacture packaging to a very high level, who will manufacture product that, that, that looks really, really good, and who on occasion have succeeded in injecting these counterfeit goods into the genuine distribution chain. This is clearly uh, quite worrying, and this is the, the, one of the areas where the pharmaceutical firms do spend a lot of money. Well, interestingly enough, the Chinese authorities have been quite successful in cracking down on the, uh, on the Beijing 208 logo. Um, had they been successful, uh, so successful against many other targets, I think we'd all be very happy. Um, but more likely is that it, we're going to see foreign multinationals who are aggressively promoting their brand during the course of the Olympics uh, being, um, or at least calling us a lot more often. Actually, that's a good question. The, the, the factories and the manufacturing or distribution uh, is in China. But our experience lately is that the money, the brains, and the organization can often be outside China. So people need to look at these problems in a bigger picture situation. There is, where is the money going? Who is placing the orders? What is the distribution? And who ultimately uh, reaps the gain? And, and companies need to start looking at it that way rather than trying to knock down individual small operations because a holistic approach will often deal with, will fundamentally get to the heart of the matter. We spend a lot of time analyzing uh, shipments, uh, looking at uh, customs documentation that we're legally entitled to do so tracking goods, uh, doing surveys in markets until we get a good idea of where real problematical areas are. But the hard reality, m most people don't like to admit, is the big danger is normally that those closest to you, people who have, done, have been licensing, producing product under license for, for, for a manufacturer, people involved in distribution, people involved in production, uh, people involved in advertising of the product, in our experience, eight times out of ten in serious issues are the ones closely involved or intimately involved in, in serious uh, counterfeit activity.